Dixon Ridge Farms, located in the Sacramento Valley near the town of Winters, is the largest processor of organic walnuts in California. Early versions of the Biomax technology began operations here in 2008 using walnut shells as feedstock. Currently, the site has a Gen 1 unit, which was installed in 2012, and the Gen 2 unit, which was installed in 2015. These units are operated in continuous mode and have logged over 80,000 operating hours. Here is some background information about the Biomax technology. The Biomax is a modular downdraft gasification unit that converts biomass and waste feedstocks into a fuel gas. The process also produces recoverable heat, which can be used for space heating, drying, and other industrial processes. The gas stream from the gasifier, which is referred to as producer gas, is cooled in a heat exchanger and sent to a dry cleanup system that filters out particulates and other impurities. The cleaned up producer gas consists primarily of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrogen, and methane. The producer gas can be used as a clean burning fuel, like natural gas, although it has a lower energy content relative to natural gas. There is a wide range of materials that can be used as feedstock for the Biomax. The simplest feedstocks to use are materials that require no pre-processing other than light drying and sorting. These include things like wood chips and wood pellets and agricultural residues such as nutshells and fruit pits. In addition, there are many other abundantly available materials that can be used as feedstock for the Biomax after undergoing size reduction, drying, densification, and other pre-processing steps. These kinds of materials often constitute waste streams that would otherwise require disposal and remediation. Some of the materials we have been working with include landscaping waste and green waste, municipal solid waste, and institutional solid waste from places like school campuses, hospitals, military bases, and correctional facilities, and biosolids, which refers to the sludge produced from wastewater treatment facilities. This is an overview of the downdraft gasification process. Feedstock is introduced to the top of the gasifier and moves downwards through different temperature zones where different thermochemical processes occur. The feedstock is dried completely and then undergoes pyrolysis and gasification where it is broken down into simpler chemical substances in the gaseous state. The only other product of the gasification process is a small amount of solid char which consists of the residual solid material in the feedstock that cannot be readily converted to a gas. There are two things that are important to point out about this process. The first is that gasification is not combustion. An oxygen depleted environment is maintained in the gasifier and there is no direct combustion of the feedstock. The gasification process thermochemically breaks the feedstock material down into simpler molecules that make up the producer gas. The second thing is that the proprietary Biomax process results in a producer gas that contains very little to no TARs this is achieved by careful control of process conditions at high temperatures in the gasifier. The elimination of tars in the gasification process means that it is not necessary to use a wet scrubbing process to clean up the gas stream. This has the significant advantage of not generating any wastewater stream. This is the Biomax Gen 2 Plus unit. Each one of these units has a net electrical output of 165 kilowatts and multiple units can be combined at a single site to achieve whatever total output capacity is desired. An individual unit consumes around 4 tons per day of feedstock under continuous 24-7 operation and has a physical footprint of 30 feet by 30 feet. Each unit consists of three different modules that are housed in standard 20-foot shipping containers. Feedstock is delivered to the gasification module where it is converted to a producer gas. The producer gas is sent to the gas cleanup module where particulates are removed from the gas stream by filtration. The cleaned up producer gas is then sent to the power generation module where it is used to fuel the engine and generator that produces electricity. In this cutaway diagram you can see how the system components are configured. In the gasification module there is a gasifier and the heat exchanger that cools the producer gas exiting the gasifier. There's also an automated system for removing the char from the gasifier and depositing it in a storage container. Filter cells are contained in the gas cleanup module, and the engine and gen set are contained in the power generation module. So here we are back at Dixon Ridge Farms. This is a feedstock storage hopper that contains walnut shells. 
the shells exit the bottom of the hopper and are delivered by the feedstock conveyor to the gasification module. The feedstock enters at the top of the gasifier. Here you can see the gasifier. This is inside the gasification module. You can see the gasifier and heat exchange equipment. This is the char removal system that takes char from the bottom of the gasifier and sends it to a storage bin. This is a control screen on the other end of the gasification module. The entire system is fully automated and can be controlled and monitored from a workstation located within the unit. It can also be controlled and monitored remotely from a computer or smartphone connected to the internet. This is the gas cleanup module. You can see the filter canisters and cells that receive the cooled producer gas from the gasification module and remove fine particulates and impurities from the gas stream. The cleaned up producer gas is sent here to the power generation module. You can see the engine and genset that produces electricity. Engine exhaust is routed through stacks on the top of the power generation module. Here you can see some of the electrical equipment on the outside of the power generation module. Electricity produced by the system can be fed to the utility grid or used to power local demand loads at the site. For more information, get in touch with us or visit our website at www.syntechbioenergy.com.